Hi guys, it's Amory. Welcome to my June favorites. So it's been a minute since I've had a favorites video. You know that I don't always do a favorites video every month because sometimes I just don't have that many favorites or I haven't really discovered anything new that I love that I feel like I love so much that I want to share with you guys. But I have quite a few things this month. Let's start out with this Maybelline lipstick. This is raw chocolate. This is a matte, but what I love about this is it's not dry. It's very creamy. I swear by these lipsticks. I love them so much because the formulation, but also because there's like a high intense color. Raw chocolate is my tried and true. I love it because it looks great by itself, but also looks really great when I'm mixing it with like another pink or uh, a beige. Just really good, just all in all. And it doesn't look dry. That's the one another thing. It's like, I don't like when I wear a matte lipstick and then your lips start peeling. That is the worst. Which brings me to this. This is another tried and true product. Now, as you know, I have had a baby recently. My baby is six weeks old, or seven weeks old by the time you see this video, probably. And this is something that Dermalogica sent me a long time ago, and I was using it in and out, but this became a true lifesaver during my pregnancy. During my pregnancy, I was just dehydrated. I felt dehydrated. I mean, I wasn't really dehydrated. I just felt that way, or maybe I kind of was. I was drinking a lot of water, like I have this huge mason jar that my husband calls the big girl cup because when I drink out of it, I have to use two hands. I mean, I don't have to, but it's probably safer and more stable if I use both hands. But I use that because I was just, I had to just drink so much water. You know, you have to drink a lot of water when you're pregnant, you have to stay hydrated. But I was just like, my thirst was like unquenchable. And one of the first things that happens to me, my lips get very dry. Like I don't feel it quite in my skin as much, but my lips, will definitely show it. Um, whether or not I'm wearing lipstick a lot, you know, or if I'm wearing a balm or whatever, it just doesn't matter if they're just dry. And then on top of that, I have the habit of going like this, like like kind of biting at the skin. So sometimes they'll, they'll peel or they'll bleed. All that stuff is not that cute. I love this product. I usually wear it at night. It is a nightly treatment. Um, I don't wear it that much during the day because I kiss my baby a lot and because I think it has properties, it says age smart nightly lip treatment. I think it has exfoliation properties because my lips are smoother and they're moist, like they're just plump when I use this product. So it makes me think that there's like a chemical exfoliant in here and I don't want to put that on his face basically. Uh, so I just use this at night, which is what you're supposed to do anyway. But if I'm going to make sure that I don't kiss him throughout the day, which is pretty hard, but period of periods of time throughout the day. I go ahead and wear this because it works so, so well. Another one of the products that I love is this Makeup Forever Powder, Pressed Powder. I use a Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. I love it because it's very fine. And so I use that when I'm like on the go. I'm taking out and about. I take it in my purse. This pressed powder is yellow. Now they have a translucent one, a yellow one, and they had kind of like an orangey one um, for different complexions, like how deep your complexion is. So I use this yellow one. The translucent one I used as well, but I think I gave that one to Angela because I have like a different one and I wanted to give this yellow one a try. It's it, pretty warm so you can put it over your foundation. I use it when I'm doing like a full face foundation. Instead of doing a loose powder, which I really like a lot too, I'll just use this one just as a little um, less of a matte effect. I don't want too much of a matte look. I like kind of more of a, a dewy natural finish. So that's why I've been using the pressed powder lately instead of, uh, instead of a loose powder. And I really like this one. It's yellow. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because I'm almost always using one that does not have a color. The Charlotte Tilbury does have a color beige one. That was one of the first times in a long time that I used a powder that wasn't translucent and this is the second time. I usually use it around here, chin, forehead, you know, by the eyebrows, that kind of thing. And it works really well. Another one of my favorites is a TV show that I finally got on board. My husband and I were hearing so many great things about this show, but we finally got on board because we tend to, to binge shows. We find one and we'll binge it. And we'll find another one, usually like an episode or two at a time. And that would be Billions. You've probably heard great things about the show. It really is great. And they, what I love about the show is that they start off the first episode. They don't waste time. Like they don't take a long time getting into the story. It's just so tightly written and so tightly paced you're just drawn in right away. And it was great to see, was his name Brady when he played in Homeland? I just felt so sorry for him in Homeland. It just, his character just went through so much. It was kind of nice to see him in Billions because even though they're separate shows and we know this is all acting, I kind of felt like he had a comeuppance. So it was, it was nice to see that. And Paul Giamatti is a fantastic actor, so goes without saying that he's gonna do his thing on the show. You're basically in the world of trading and stocks and you're following this man 
uh, who's trying to protect his dynasty, his life's work, and he's really young, and he dresses kind of like a tech guy, he's just, just very driven, and you then have Paul Giamatti's character, who is also very driven. Took me a while to like him, though, but he's the district attorney or the state's attorney or something like that, and he just has a thing about getting the other guy, the, the traitor. And the complication is that Paul Giamatti's character's wife works for with the guy he's trying to bring down. There's just like a cast of rich characters. The writing is top notch. They don't waste any time with introductions. Even the first episode from the first episode on, you just hit the ground running with this show. So highly recommend Billions if you haven't already seen it. You know, every now and then I have to throw in a food favorite and I was not trying to match, but we do kind of match. This is Golden Turmeric Cereal by Nature's Path. It's organic. It's a new cereal. I, I've, I've eaten some of Nature's Path cereals before, but this cereal is off the hook. There's turmeric in here, cinnamon, and then there's these coconut flakes. If you're not, in, if you're not into coconut, you won't like the cereal because you definitely get hints of coconut. But the turmeric is so good. It's not overly sweet. That's what I love about the cereal. It's not, I feel like I'm in a cereal commercial. Now that would be like sitting it down right here just so with like some cereal and some orange juice. Anyway, it's not overly sweet. This cereal is delicious, especially with bananas. Right now, this is my favorite and I hope I don't run it to the ground because I've kind of been eating it like almost, almost every day. My mom told me I need to chill on the cereal. She said I've been going a little nuts, but it's just great. It's convenient, it's healthy. It tastes great with bananas. I drink it with almond, an almond coconut blend milk. You should try it if you want a cereal that's healthy and organic and not overly sweet, but still has a little something something. So finally, on to the final favorite. This is something related to pregnancy, or actually not pregnancy, having a baby. And so it's kind of really cool for me to include this in the mix. This is the Uppa Baby Vista Stroller. This is the Uppa Baby Vista 2018. They did some upgrades from the 2017. I love this stroller. First of all, we researched so much. Basically everything that the baby has from the, the diapers to the wet wipes to to the bibs okay to down to the bibs i researched like best bibs best stroller best car seat best best everything after lots of research and diving into the whole stroller world i said that there's lots of great strollers out there but the one that edged out all the other strollers for me was the up a baby vista 2018. Aside from the fact that it is gorgeous, it's really pretty, the color is Emmet, which is this green, pale, sage color. And it has genuine leather, which is beautiful. One of my girlfriends has the Cruise, which is like a lighter, lighter weight version of this uh, Upper Baby Vista, but I wanted to go to the Vista for a specific reason. The Upper Baby Vista comes with a bassinet. So it comes with the regular toddler seat, like the regular seat you would get in a stroller, but it also comes with the bassinet. A lot of other strollers, you have to buy the bassinet separately. And the bassinet is important because when you have a newborn, you want to keep them as flat as much as possible. You don't want to leave them in a car seat too long. You can use the car seat as well, but they do suggest not leaving your child in a car seat in that position for an extended period of time. It's really beautiful. It has like a sunshade. The shade already extends pretty far out, but then you have the additional SPF or whatever they call it when it's on a fabric, 50. And 50 is a key number because all of my Korean gloves and all the little face masks that I use when I'm outside, like exercising or going for like a walk or whatever outside that my mom gave me, they're all 50. And the stroller also comes with a rain cover and a bug cover. So again, you have the regular seat, like the regular toddler seat, which has the leather bar as well. And then you have a bassinet that comes with it, plus a rain cover, plus a bug cover. So you don't have to buy all these additional accessories. And it's also compatible with a car seat. If you have a car seat that's one of the major brands, it most likely will be able to adapt into the stroller. And another reason why we chose the Vista is because in the event you decide to have another child, you can convert the stroller into a two baby stroller. I like the idea of having a stroller and you don't have to like buy a whole new stroller later. You know, you can still have one that grows with you and your family. And then you can just like have any blend of um, the configuration. So you can have the bassinet and the car seat, the bassinet with the toddler seat, or you can have two bassinets if you have twins. You can have uh, the, the regular toddler seat that's there and add another second toddler seat, which is called the rumble, the rumble seat, I believe. I'm sure they do, but I don't feel like I see any of those like two baby strollers, like, like a double wide <laughs> anymore. I feel like a lot more strollers are doing more of the streamlining and having it 
having the, having the the children's seats go upward, ver build vertically instead of to the side, which makes a whole lot more sense to me. But I love that it has that. Plus, it has like a really big basket, and I love the fact that the up a baby stroller is very smooth. Like it's a smooth ride. My girlfriend has the cruise. She had a baby at the end of last year, so I was able to kind of give her a little stroller for a little test run. I mean, it wasn't really a test run. It was literally like her baby was there, and I was able to like to push the baby a little. And I was a little afraid too because I. I never told you how I'm always afraid to touch other people's babies. I've since gotten over that after having my own baby. But until then, until recently, I was the person who someone would be like, oh, you want to hold my baby? And I was like, no, I know I do not want to hold your baby. I don't want to be responsible. I will only hold the baby if I'm sitting down on the sofa and I'm like way in it or I'm going to have to sit on the floor. I don't want to take any risks. I want to be extra careful. So I don't like to breathe on people's babies or touch their babies unnecessarily. I've since gotten over that. Anyway, but she let me give her baby uh, a push on the stroller. So I was pushing her stroller and I felt like the ride was really, really smooth. So I really love the stroller. It's functional. It folds like one easy step and it has a pretty small footprint. So we like that and it stands when it's folded. And again, love the fact that it came with the bassinet and all the other accessories, rain cover and the bug cover, which is great because if you're going to walk your baby through the park, go for lots of walks and things like that, especially that they're saying there's a high season for ticks and Anyway, you just start to worry about everything when you're a parent. That's what I realized. Like, I was like, when will we stop worrying? Because, you know, you're worrying up till 12 weeks, and after that you're worrying some more, and then it just seems like there's just something new to worry about all the time. And then after the birth, you're just like worrying, and you're checking the breathing at night. I hear it never goes away. But at least you'll be in a great stroller. So those are my June favorites. Hopefully you found something that intrigued you, something that you liked. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Please comment below if you have anything to say about any of the things here or if you have anything to chip in. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.